Welcome again to another podcast for Creative Technology Master Program for the Creative Technologies Toolkit module. Previously, we've looked at downloading Open Frameworks, the C++ framework for creative coding. We've also looked at how to install and use Xcode as a development environment with Open Frameworks. We've also downloaded all of our example demo code for this semester. In this session, I'm going to quickly show you an alternative development environment that you can use for editing open frameworks and a variety of other languages. We're going to look at Visual Studio Code, which you can find at code.visualstudio.com, which is a lightweight environment related to the, visu uh, the Visual Studio Microsoft uh, development environment. You can download it for free for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And it's a lightweight editor that's suitable for C++, which we'll be using HTML, CSS, Python, JavaScript, and a number of other languages, including just being a great, simple, lightweight text editor that's customizable, that's very easy to use. It doesn't have all of the features of something like Xcode, but it'll do what we need most of the time. Very simple to set up. So I'm going to download in my instance, I'm using Win, uh, Mac OS, but you can download for Windows and also for various flavors of Linux. And when the download is done, I go to my Downloads folder and I can drag Visual Studio Code into my Applications folder and install it. I've already installed this, but this is exactly how you do it to drag across. And when we boot it for the first time, we will see a number of helpful uh, introductions, information, learning. Um, and I do recommend having a quick walk around the introductory videos, which will explain where things are. But very, very simply, we can open any file see the text here it'll give us code hinting colorization and so on and we can also organize numbers of files together as projects so we can open a project and it'll open associated folders and files for us to edit down at the side we can search for things we can see our source control debugging we have integration with git the source control library if we want and there are also many many extensions that you can get for c plus plus uh, HTML and even, even for doing things like writing markdown and producing PDF files should you want to use this as opposed to uh, some other tools such as Microsoft Word or Acrobat. What we're going to do is set up an extension and a stub that helps Visual Studio Code understand how to use um, uh, open frameworks um, projects on the UE Creative Technology Master GitHub page. I've made a fork of a project uh, from another developer as a reference here. And we're going to get that from the main page here. We scroll down here, the C++ toolkit sessions, to the handbook. And if I go to VS code underscore, this is a direct fork of another project which you can get either from here or from the master branch from Hero MTB. There are full instructions about how to download and how to use it. So the first thing that we've done is download and installed VS Code. And then we take this repository, which is a version of an Open Frameworks project, and we put it into the Open Frameworks Apps folder. Currently, all of our projects run out of the apps slash my apps folder. So this will make another one alongside it. What I'm going to do is download a zip file of this example project. And this I'm going to drag into my developer folder that I've made. Inside my developer folder is my open frameworks project folder. 
and I'm going to take this again I'm just going to take master off the end as I did previously and I'm going to put this into the apps folder so under the root of open frameworks I have my apps folder in there is my apps where the current projects are as CT toolkit sessions and I'm going to have a VF code folder for all the work that I'm making from VF. In the empty example, we have, as previously, an add-ons file for any libraries we've linked, the standard config file, and our source code folder with our header file, our main project file, and the main CPP, which describes the window that's going to be made. Previously, we'd seen in the empty example, again, an add-ons, etc. And instead, we have an Xcode project file. We now have a VS Code project file. And all this does is it gives simple instructions to v uh, Visual Studio Code about how to edit and handle these source code files. So if I double click on VS Code from my example, it opens up and I can see I've got my Visual Studio Code workspace. Here's my empty example that I'm working on. I can open up the source folder and I can see here's the code. For my header file, the main file, and my main application. There are some additional extensions that VS Code in, recommends, and at this point, we're going to go and install a couple of them, which will help us with some of uh, the debugging, etc., code hinting. In this instance, this is Microsoft's add on that will help Visual Studio understand C++ a little bit more, um, help us with debugging, help us with hinting about where we make mistakes perhaps, or with language. And while that's going in the background, I'm going to switch back to the instructions here. So we've downloaded, installed VS Code. We've copied it into our apps folder. We've opened our project file and now we're going to use in Visual Studio the command palette which you can go from view open command palette and we'll see a range of different tasks and the first one we want is to use run build task and see if VS Code is set up correctly so here's my source code I can say, show the command palette, please. Run, build, task. And it's going to ask us what kind of build task. And we'll build a release version of our source code. So this is the first time we're compiling, so it might take a little while. But down here in the terminal window, it's telling us, if we look, it's going through compiling all the various open frameworks libraries once it's done this once it'll only need to do it again if um, we make changes so it'll give us a little bit of a, a list of what's going on while I finish cold coffee and when it's done it'll compile our pieces of source code and all being well allow us to run and edit from within Visual Studio Code. This should be a very similar process on Mac, on Windows, and on Linux for using Visual Studio Code to edit open frameworks. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment while it finishes this and come back in just a few seconds.
uh, project is still compiling. got two little warnings here um, but it's not an hour code so we're going to ignore those for now if there are any errors it'll tell us what the errors are and it'll stop compiling our code but this first time through we're seeing minor warnings in some of the libraries about syntax or small elements that aren't used And it's finished compiling and it runs our project. The project does nothing more than make, as you can see, a simple binary application that's a proper Macintosh application, draws the background green and makes a white square on it. So we've been able to completely compile and build from within Visual Studio Code. And you can do the same on other different platforms. Taking a moment to come back to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to click on my just shrink the console window there. I'm going to come to my source code project in my empty example. I have a header file which is very very simple. These are pretty much empty and I have my application file and as you can see Visual Studio Code is helpfully going through and color coding things for us so it knows um, the color for the calls for functions for types and classes and here where we've got comments it's commenting and coloring those as well and in our example there's a simple class that's been set up we don't actually need it at all but it's an example to show that where we've got an object with elements inside it, if we type that, Visual Studio Code now knows that the class M has these elements inside it. So it can actually help us understand what our code will do and what the possibilities and parameters are. Just for clarity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up a little bit of this because we don't need it. It's in the example and it's listed um, in our uh, instructions that come with the project. Save both of these. And now I can close them. And if I come to my developer folder, at the moment the project generator that comes with open frameworks which helps us shortcut building new projects doesn't completely integrate with the Visual Studio Code but it means it's very very simple all I need to do is keep my empty example empty hit duplicate and give it a name and now I can launch my new project come into my source folder and edit to my heart's content. So that's a really simple, quick introduction to using Visual Studio Code to edit open frameworks. The code can be downloaded from UE Creative Technology slash VS Code. And here there's also a link to the master page of the project that we've cloned from and in open frameworks at openframeworks.cc not only will you find the documentation and some very useful learning resources of how to's setups, building your first project, experimenting with video, with graphics and sound. In the forum, 
you'll find lots and lots of questions posted by people in the community, examples of what people are doing, examples of projects. And here, if we type Visual Studio Code, there's a long thread with lots of people posting their experiences of setting Visual Studio Code up, running on different environments. With Open Frameworks at the moment, there's a push from some of the development community to make the integration even smoother for being able to use Visual Studio Code straight out of the box. That's currently integrated and working on the Macintosh version, and that should be coming soon in a new release of Visual Studio Code. Uh, sorry, with Open Frameworks, so that it will integrate directly with Visual Studio Code as an editor. But until then, you can download Visual Studio Code yourself. You can download the Visual Studio Code project. And you can run Open Frameworks editing and building from Visual Studio Code without any problem.